Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is a lesson about systems of linear equations and more specifically using the graphing method to find the solution to a system, okay? So here we're gonna graph um, the equation y equals x plus one and also y equals two x plus uh, minus one. So actually for the first two pages, I want you to follow along with me and then there'll be a couple problems for you to try and then at the end you can see how you did, all right? And I definitely recommend uh, having a ruler and also a couple of different colors for this activity, either a highlighter or a marker, all right? So the graphing method sounds just like it sounds. It, it, you, you graph the equations, okay? So I'm gonna pick a blue color here, and I'm gonna graph the equation y equals x plus one, all right? So we know the y-intercept is at one, and we have a, a slope of one. So from there, I'm gonna go up one over one, up one over one, And then we also go down one, left one. Down one, left one. We want to have at least eight or nine different points here. And then with your ruler, if you would carefully connect the dots and extend it in both directions with arrows. All right, so there's our function y equals x plus one. All right, now let's use a different color to graph the second function, which is y equals two x minus one. All right, so this one's gonna have a y-intercept at negative one, right there. And this time we're gonna have a slope of two x, okay? So we're gonna have a slightly steeper slope. So we're gonna go up two, and then over one. And we're gonna go up two, over one. Up two, over one. And we're also go down two and left one. Down two and left one. All right, and with the ruler, would you carefully draw a line through these points, that's not very neat, but you get the idea, okay? And if you notice, right right here, I'm gonna, let me um, use black. Right here, there's a point that both lines overlap, okay? And that point has a, a coordinate of, it looks like X is gonna be two and Y is gonna be three. So go right two and up three. So it's gonna have a common point of two and three, okay? And because that's the point where they overlap, that should be a solution to the system problem. Well, let's check it, okay? So we're saying x is two and y is three. So if I plug in two here, right, for x, two plus one gives you, guess what? It gives you the three, okay? Now, if I plug in a two here for x, two times two is four, and four minus one, guess what? It gives you three, so it works, okay? Let's try another problem. If you go down to the next page, Right here we have x minus four, uh, excuse me, y equals four, and then three x plus y equals zero, okay? Now if you notice, neither one of these are written in slope intercept form. So I'm gonna transform the first one. So I'm gonna take away x from both sides. So now we get negative y equals negative x plus four, and then I'm gonna multiply each part by negative one. So that's gonna make it now a y equals x minus four, okay? Now I'm gonna change this one also into slope intercept form while we're at it. So I'm gonna take away three x, so it's gonna be y equals negative three x plus zero, which is just negative three x, all right? So I'm gonna go back to the blue. I'm gonna graph this equation, y equals x minus four. So I'm gonna go down four, one, two, three, and four, point there. And then we're gonna have a slope of one, right? So I'm gonna go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. So there we hit the x-intercept, right? Up one over one. And also down one, left one. Down one, left one. All right, and with your ruler, again, try it best you can, nice and neat, right through the points, like so. All right, and this graph is x minus y equals four. All right, now I'm gonna go back to red to graph y equals negative three x, okay? So this one's gonna have a y-intercept at the origin, right? And now we're gonna have a down three, one, two, three, over one. Look, it overlaps, right? Down three, one, two, three, and over one. I'm gonna go up three, one, two, three, and left one. I'm gonna neatly connect these. There we go, okay? So again, now we need to find that point that both 
of the fun of, of the functions have, right? And it's right here. That's where they crisscross. So that location is x is one and y is negative three. So our solution is x is one and y is negative three. So now let's plug it in and see if we're right. Okay. So if I plug a one here, so this is going to be one minus y is negative three should equal four. And guess what? Yep, one minus a negative three is like adding three, which equals four, so that's right. Now let's check this one. If x is one, well, three times one is three, right? And then plus a negative three, which is the y value, equals zero, so that works also, all right? So this is a really good method um, to solve systems. If you can graph it, that's great. And remember, where the two graphs meet, that's a solution to the system. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the next couple problems, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did it with these practice problems, okay? So actually, I did the problems out already for you. So notice the green line is y equals 2x plus 2. Okay, so again, it should have a positive slope going upward. And then the red line is y equals negative 3x plus 4. If you notice, the, part, the solution is right here where the little circle is, okay? And unfortunately, it doesn't land a nice integer number. So the solution is actually x is 2 fifths and y is 2 and 4 fifths, okay? Um, again, this is not the best problem to use but your solution should have been right there. So look at your work, and if it's right there, you know you got it right, okay? Now, if you look at the next problem, again, here's the solutions. Um, x plus y equals five is the green line, okay? And three x minus two y equals 10 is the blue line, okay? And notice they intersect right here at point four and one. So the solution to the system is x is four and y is one. All right, how'd you do?